let's talk about the first one right here. X is cosine of t, and y is sine of t. Well, well, you see that x is the cosine and y is the sine. That reminds you what? The unit circle, isn't it? Okay, you pretty much know that's the unit circle. Another way to do it is the following. Well, if you just add these two up, you don't know what x plus y is because you don't know what's cosine t plus sine t. However, if you square both sides, right here and also right here, and as I said, square both sides of the equations, on the left hand side, you see that you will have x squared plus y squared, and here you have cosine squared t plus sine squared t, and that's equal to 1. So as you can see, this is of course the unit circle now. And let me just demonstrate by drawing a picture right here. And you can do it with a table also, up to you. When t is 0, you start at 1, 0, because cosine 0 is 1, and sine of 0 is 0. So you start right here. This is 1, 0. And this is when t equals 0. And then you pretty much travel counterclockwise. So you go like this like that, and then you end up with when t is 2 pi, right? So this is just a pretty standard unit circle. Now, let's talk about this right here. And the only difference between this and that is we have a 2 in front of the sine t. Well, well, what do you guys think? This time, the x value is still cosine, but the y value, you know, it got multiplied by 2. It's still going to be this kind of things. However, you pretty much stretch the y values right, by 2 like this. So in fact, you get an ellipse, like a vertical situation like that. And of course, if you want to change this to the Cartesian equation, you will have to divide both sides by 2. And you pretty much will see that this is the same as saying x is cosine of t, and then y over 2 is equal to sine of t. And then we can do that again. When you add these two equations, here you have x squared plus parentheses y over 2 squared, and this is equal to sine squared plus cosine squared is just 1 as the one over there. And this is pretty much the equation for ellipse, and you can see the y-intercepts are 2 and negative 2, and then you know what next is 0. So anyway, enough said, I'll draw you guys the picture. Oh, by the way, I should draw the arrows like this when you are talking about parametric equations. This right here is similar. You start at 1, 0. You go like this up to 2, though. And then you go down up to neg down to negative 2. So this is 2, then this is negative 2, and of course this is negative 1. And over here, it was all 1s. Anyway, this is pretty much it. So you can draw the circle, I mean, the arrows like that. And uh, this is when t equals 0, and t equals 2 pi, like that, and we're done. Lastly, Instead of multiplying the sine by 2, we are adding 2 right here with the sine t. So what do we get? Well, you're adding 2 to the y values. You just pretty much bring the circle up twice. So that's pretty much it. You can just I will do the circle with you guys first. Do the unit circle like this. And this is supposed to be 1. Anyway, that's pretty much the idea. And yeah, this is 1, this is going to be 3, and this is going to be negative 1, of course. Well, to see that, you can just minus 2 on both sides. So you see this is the same as x equals cosine of t, and then the second equation, y minus 2 equals sine of t. And then you do that again, and then add the equations. Here you get x squared plus parentheses y minus 2, and then square equals cosine squared plus sine squared, we get 1. So this is the circle with radius 1, centered at 0, comma, plus 2. OK, continue. Here we have this one right here. We have x is equal to cosine of 2t, and y is equal to sine of 2t. Yes, we just multiply the t's by 2. So what does this do now? Well, well if you want to do that, OK, we can still square here, and square here, and square here, and square here. And you'll see, OK, on the left-hand side, we still get x squared plus y squared, and that's equal to cosine squared of 2t plus sine squared of 2t, we get 
Why? Because the angles are the same. So we still end up with the unit circle. So is there any difference between this and that though? Yes, of course. But let me draw a picture for you guys right here. So we still get the unit circle, but the moment that you multiply the t by 2, in fact, you are going to run around the circle twice in the same time period because you are pretty much going twice as fast as the original. So the picture is going to be like this. You start at 1, 0, and you go counterclockwise like this one time. And you will see this is when t is equal to 0 and then t is equal to pi. And then you will continue because you have more time because you are running twice as fast. So you can actually go another loop again. So you actually pretty much do this twice. That's it. So let me just draw the arrows right here. So uh, you should draw the arrows and maybe you say, no, just turn this one around. The uh, circle, I'll just say the circle, x squared plus y squared equals to 1 twice. And you can imagine if you multiply this by 7 and 7, yes, you run around the circle 7 times in the same time period. All right, last example. Here we have x is equal to cosine of t and y is equal to sine of 2t. Unfortunately, the angles are different. And let me tell you, we don't end up with a circle right here. Hmm, what can we do? I actually cannot square both sides like that because when the angles are different, cosine squared t plus sine squared of 2t, I cannot do anything unless I do more tricks identity. And this is what we can do. I will do the identity right here because I notice I have y equals sine of 2t. I can use the double angle identity for sine. So I will write down, we know y is actually equal to, this is the same as saying 2 sine of t times cosine of t. And now you see, cosine of t is just x. And let me write it down right here. Cosine of t is equal to x. That's good, but it's, I can make it better. I will make it x over 1. Because I need to use this information to figure out what sine of t is. And how can we do that? Yes, we draw triangles. Right triangle specifically, so let's do it right here. This is my right angle, and this is my angle t. And because we have cosine, so this is the adjacent on the top, which is this right here, that's x. And the one will be the hypotenuse, which is right here, which is 1. And you have to write the opposite, which is the square root of 1 square minus x squared, like that. And based on that picture, we can figure out what sine of t is. And let's go ahead and do that. We have y equals 2. And for sine of t, this is just the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is square root of 1 minus x squared. And then for cosine of t, it's just x, pretty much. So this right here, you multiply by x. So that's pretty much it. That's how we can get this parametric equations into the Cartesian form. Unfortunately, though, if you just grab this right here, because of the square root, let me tell you guys, your graph is going to look like this only. Why? Because you have the square root. Well, well, you can imagine if you solve for y right here, you will end up with y equals square root of 1 minus x squared. And this right here will only give you the top. In order for you to do the bottom, you have to actually have the plus minus, right? Well, you see, this is troublesome when you isolate the y. You have to talk about two pieces, the positive and also the negative. This was more complete. So the way to take up this is that, okay, let's just go ahead and square both sides here. And I'll write down the answer here. On the left-hand side, I will end up with y squared, and that's equal to 2 squared is 4, and then I have x squared, and then you see the square root square, they cancel. So this right here, I'll just put a parenthesis and then 1 minus x squared like that. So this will be the Cartesian form of that. <laughs> and if you graph this, in fact, you get a whole picture, which looks like this. You actually get the bottom portion as well. So this is the complete graph. And this right here is like a bow tie if you actually make the graph pretty enough like that. Or like a butterfly. Anyway, anyway, that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you're new, please subscribe.